Hello there, and thank you for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I'm your host, Daniel Kay, coming from a slightly different angle of the same damn apartment I usually come from. Uh, this is the weekend of February 14th through 16th, 2014. Uh, there are four, five, four new movies in the chart this week. Uh, none of them are number one. Number one was a Lego movie. Uh, in its second week, it made $49.8 million, bringing in a total so far of $130 million. Lego! Lego, I tell you, say. Oh, and incidentally, um, this is important. It was a three-day, uh, excuse me, a four-day weekend because of Monday. I'm giving you the three-day figures and forgetting about Monday altogether because it just feels like I should. Anyway, the other thing about the Lego movie is that it only dropped 27% from its uh, first week, which is extraordinary. Uh, usually, you can look for a blockbuster to drop about 50. All right, so coming in at number two, a new movie about last night. Uh, this is um, uh, it's starring that guy from Ride Along, Kevin James is his name, maybe? I don't remember. Uh, anyway, it made $25.6 million, which is quite respectable uh, for a movie without special effects or explosions. And um, number two, num coming in at number three, the remake of RoboCop. Incidentally, about last night was also uh, the title of a movie in the 80s with uh, Rob Lowe. Uh, no, nothing, no connection. RoboCop but from Sony, $21.6 million. Not terrific, because that does have special effects and explosions. Lots of them! And uh, I guess there's this widespread perception that uh, whether it's good or bad, we do not need another RoboCop movie at all. Coming in at number five, because we're skipping Monuments Men, uh, Endless Love, 80s remake, 13.3 um, um, million dollars. And I would say go to see it for Bruce Greenwood as uh, the, um, the girl's father, because Bruce Greenwood is always good. Now, I've never seen Bruce Greenwood be bad. He doesn't, he doesn't do bad, Bruce Greenwood. No, sir. Nah, or don't see it. Uh, coming in at number seven, Winter's Tale from Warner Brothers. Don't know. It's about winter. Who wants to see that? Nobody, apparently, made $7.2 million. All right, so um, I'm reading all this off an iPad. Isn't that exciting? Okay, uh, just because I like the title, coming in at number 64, it's brand new, Adult World from IFC. No research. Should have looked it up. Didn't do it. Uh, made uh, $3,783 on two screens. And the lowest scoring new movie, the one that came in at the very, very bottom of uh, released movies chart, coming in at number 79, Inequality for All. Uh, somehow, that uh, very, very subtle title from RTWC did not... Pull them in, it only made $194 on one screen. Which, you know, for the bottom of the chart, we've seen worse. It's at least triple digits. Uh, so there you go, that is your weekend box office report. Thank you very much for watching. Come back again next week.